You know what? We're gonna need wood. We may as well grab wood right now. We actually got quite a bit of wood in the bank, too. Uh, don't have the bullets yet, so I'm not... Oh, God. Um, okay, excuse me. I'm just gonna go... Ah! What's going on, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to Desert Skies. Today, we're out on our moving apartment. That's what I'm gonna call this thing, anyways. Uh, the giant raft, or whatever these things are called. The balloon basket, I guess you would say. Uh, wait, what is... That's new. That looks like just a random... I've never seen that. Okay, hold on. We're going down. Maybe they added some new stuff. There's a seeker on that cart down there. Oh, this is what you... I'm getting so lucky with the introductions to this game. Uh, what was it, last episode where I got all the unlocks that I needed for all these things? Actually, I think that was like two episodes ago. But yes, a lot of you guys are saying in the comments that I need golden bullets to take down the Seeker, and I need to find the Seeker's body. Well, it just said the Seeker's body's on this cart. I don't know if this is the same Seeker that's, you know, attacking me, so it probably can still attack me. Uh, but yes, we actually got a secret. Wow, talk about lucky. This is what I was gonna look for today. Uh, this might be a quick episode because we've already found it. I should take a sample. Maybe I can figure out what killed it. E to open. I'm opening the seeker? Okay, I'm actually opening the seeker. We get gold ore inside the seeker too? Well, that's impressive. Uh, yeah, what? Murica! Okay, so yes, uh, I guess we got what we needed. Now there's lab equipment here. What does this say? General Ernst, sir, I send you the corpse of one of the beasts which plagued this frontier. We found it already dead near Smith's Creek Gold Mine with no visible wounds. Our bullets do nothing against the creatures, but obviously something is able to kill them. I continue west. We will find a way to complete this mission. Colonel Andrews. Okay, so yes, we. Uh, it seems to be that gold is the answer to this, so I think we might actually be able to kill the Seeker today, which would be amazing. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get back into it. We're uh, also going to be probably building a little bit more onto our apartment here. Uh, honestly, I was hoping it would look more like an apartment building. It doesn't really look like that. It just looks like a giant piece of wood right now. But hey, I'm fine with that. All right, I gotta get in over here. Well, looks like the other Seeker's fine because he just actually spawned up. So yes, there's clearly more than one Seeker. There's a whole family of these dreaded beasts that we have to take down. And that's what we're going to do right now. So now we can actually... Let's actually fill this up. Do we have coal? We have a little bit of coal. So we're going to add coal to that bad boy. And if we go over here, we need alcohol and seeker study sample, or sorry, seeker claw, and we can study it. So let's do that. Studying seeker sample. Oh, I knew this thing was used for something. Oh, we're really studying it. It's making gross noises. Oh, it's randomly vanishing. Okay. What is that? What the hell is this thing? Is that the golden bullets? Okay, it's almost gone. Yes! Okay, so we have the gold bullet schematic. So, I guess now the answer is gold. Something the Seeker's flesh reacts to it. Gold bullets should do the trick. I just need to find the weak spot on the Seeker's uh, body, basically. Okay, so I'm judging... Okay, so a lot of you guys were suggested that we try the gold bullets, which I didn't know what the hell you guys were talking about, but now I do. And you also suggested we aim for the red glowy part of the front of his body. Uh, so, we're going to do both of those. Obviously, we need to make some golden bullets right now, though. So, we got... Um, is it in here? Oh, you just gotta right-click it. All right, there we go. Gold bullets, I'm assuming, is added over here. Yeah, there we go. So we need one gold ingot. Now, I did have... I did... I only kept 10 gold. I probably should have kept more. A lot of you in the comments were saying you should really keep more gold as well. Uh, the th thing is, gold really isn't that hard to find here, so I'm not too worried about it. But we definitely want to start making a lot of these bullets. So let's get this going. But yeah, we should be able to make like five bullets right now at least. So that should be able to kill the beast, hopefully. I have no idea if that's going to be enough or not. But yeah, we're back out. Uh, we already got what I wanted to do today. So we're probably going to focus on building this a little bit. Like I said, I wanted to rearrange this stuff too. Because uh, a lot has changed since we last placed these things. And obviously it doesn't really make sense to just use one floor when we have all these wonderful floors on this beast. Oh, look, another town coming up too. So we can explore that because we are... Uh, we're not low on food. I think we got, like, 10 food total, but I, I like to get a collection of it. Actually, holy crap, we got... Thir I forgot I put food in there. Okay, we're totally fine for food, but we could still use some anyways, because why not? Does this farm there have gold? Because that's what I need right now. I need lots and lots of gold. I wonder if we should add more to this. Uh, another idea is we could turn this into maybe a castle. That would be a lot of building, though, and have this as one of the side towers. Let me know what you guys think of that. Maybe we'll do that. I don't know if we'll get to that today. We'll see kind of how where we go. 
Uh, but yeah, at the farm. Uh, we've been here before, so I don't think there's gonna be anything new. I'm just looking for food, useful items. Rocks are definitely not useful, but nails are. But yeah, we could definitely make the canteen to get water out of that thing. But honestly, like, I've never ran out of water skins, so I don't really see the point. Now, there's loot up here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there's a chest, and after this, there shouldn't be anything else. All right, you know what? We're gonna need wood. We may as well grab wood right now. We actually got quite a bit of wood in the bank, too. Uh, don't have the bullets yet, so I'm not... Oh, God. Um, okay, excuse me. I'm just gonna go... Ah! God damn it. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I don't like it. Thank God he can't climb ladders either. All right, looks like he's gone. I'm running out now. See you later, sucker. I also keep forgetting that we have these, uh, we can make cooked food tins, so we should probably do this as well, uh, because they can definitely give me more. But yeah, we're just making gold right now. Just kind of doing the, uh, generic stuff. I actually, I need to work on my inventory space so I can actually build around this. You know, we're gonna get rid of those rocks. We don't need those. I can make these into meds, so let's actually do that. Bandages, there we go. All right, now we got some inventory space. Let's actually get rid of some stuff here. So we gotta open up the hammer and smack some things. So hopefully we get everything back. I'm assuming we do, and that's why I wanted inventory space, because we're gonna need a lot of it here. So what I'm thinking, that was the lab equipment. We're not gonna need to use that again until the game's updated. So we're gonna put that on the bottom floor, I guess. We'll have different floors for different jobs. Uh, we definitely don't need the size of the hot air balloon that we have right now to do what we want to do. Oh, that's right. But, you know, we're just future-proofing our design right now. What the hell? Did I just go into the ground? Um, okay, I feel like I'm really low right now. I feel like I'm going to fall through the ground. Why am I so... Did I just shrink? What is going on here? What the... Okay, seriously, I don't know what just happened. But I am now really, really small. I, I feel really slow as well. Am I, am I, is there a, cr there's a crouch? Oh God, okay, that's embarrassing. Okay, I was very confused there. All right, and being that we, uh, well, we'll de deconstruct this anyways, but we're gonna keep this stuff up here because, uh, yeah, we do a lot of metal work, uh, mostly in this game. There's a seeker on that cart down there. Seriously, another one? I don't think we're gonna need another sample, so we're gonna let that guy go by. But, uh, that's weird. All right, and there we go. So we organized that. That didn't take too long at all. I guess I can move this as well. I'm not really using this too much anymore. So, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna move this away from the front so I can get a full view out the front. Put everything behind us so we can see out front because that's the important part. As long as we can see, uh, we know where we're going. And I'm looking for gold right now, so... Oh, is that gold? That looks like iron, actually. I can see... I can usually see the gold from the sky. Not really needing iron right now, so we're really just looking for gold. There we go. Now I can see out without having to worry about killing myself. And I got all this room. Oh, this is great. All right, and we're making the golden bullets to slay this beast. Six ore left. We actually got, what is it, eight ingots? Yeah, looks like we're going to get a little over ten bullets, which hopefully should be enough. I feel like we're only going to need a couple of these things, but I am not risking it. Last time I spent so much getting that damn iron only to waste, like, what was it, eight bullets? and not kill the beast, so I want to make sure this time we have enough firepower to do it, and uh, this is actually going pretty quick, so uh, we haven't had to wait too long, which is good, and we should be able to slay this beast. Now, I want to go back to that, like, military encampment or whatever, the thing with the walls, uh, where he automatically spawns, because I think that's going to be an interesting place to cook him. Maybe we can unearth the secrets of that place. Not really sure what's going on there. It's really interesting. Oh, is that it? Oh, I think I got lucky. I was getting a little worried. I was about to lose my mind because I uh, don't have anything else to do besides cook food right now, and I'm almost out of it. So, but yeah, it looks like we're there. That's the place I was talking about. So yeah, we can take down this beast now, hopefully. Uh, so I have two different modes I can go to, the iron bullets or the gold bullets. I was going to try and maybe take down one of the birds as well, but I haven't found one recently. So yeah, we're going to try and take down this beast. He should spawn just like last time. Hopefully it goes well. Now, I got food. Actually, should we heal ourselves a little bit? So, yeah, total I have 15 shots, so hopefully that's got to be enough. We're going to go for the chest because it did warn us that we need to target one zone. It's got to be the chest or the head. I mean, that's to be expected. So, we got to jump in here, and he should spawn. There he is. We're going to use his thing to get out once again. But this time, you know what? I'm going to try and shoot him over here, too. Why, why not? Come on. Come over here, buddy. Got it. Okay. Well, he stopped for a while. We're using the gold, right? Yeah, we because we only had one silver or iron. So that wasn't enough to take him down. Let's get over here 
and see if we can take him down from this side. Oh, missed him. Oh, yeah. The problem is he can actually hit me through the wall here. So this is not the best spot to do it. I just... He's really weird here. Oh, God. There we go. Okay, so let's actually try this way. Keep kiting him. There we go. Come on. Yes. Got him! Okay, so that was, what, like five shots? We're gonna open up the Seeker. That sounds gross. And, oh my god, we can get the Seeker head. You can decorate your airship with this. Okay, this is bringing me back to Raft with all the uh, Bruce heads on it. So I guess we can, uh, we, get, we, get, we get a Seeker head every time we kill one of those guys. Now, what I'm more curious about now is, can we unearth any Seekers here? Because this is the one zone I couldn't really explore because the Seeker always spawned here. It looks like, oh, it's open. So we just gotta kill him, and then we can open it up? Oh, yes. Okay, so we have something we can read. I'm assuming this has to do with the lore. So it did work, because this was always closed. I mean, we've looked in here before. It was locked. We couldn't get inside, but there we go. The push west is not gone as I had hoped. 27 men dead in three encounters with Seekers. I was beginning to lose hope until we found the dead one. Then I knew victory was possible. I sent the corpse back east for study, but we kept the sample, and our medic figured it out. It's gold! The blasted creatures are weak to it somehow. We melted what little we had down into a few bullets. It cost us another four men, but we killed one of them. They're vulnerable right on their chest. The red protrusion. The men are calling it the heart shard. Okay, so we've unearthed the secrets of how to kill the seeker, and uh, clearly now we know. So go for the red, like you guys assumed. But we need the golden bullets, so we are going to need some gold now. Uh, looks like these are the men that died. Can we get in these now? Yes. Is there anything in this? Doesn't look like there's much here. We got graves, uh, the dead seeker. Is there another one? Yeah, there's another one over here. I'll just go explore that. If there's nothing else here, well, that's it. Uh, I think we've reached the end of the line for the current version of the game. We've got the seeker. We built our giant hot air balloon. And now we know how to kill these bastards. Now we can still explore, which we probably will do. Uh, but yeah, that, that was the big goal done. How to kill the Seeker has been unearthed. It's this ray here, gold. Man, this one rock had like 10 pieces of gold on it. This is the greatest rock ever. Usually it's like three or four. This is absolutely ridiculous. We had eight pieces on that one rock. Is there any more rocks around here? If, if, if they're that gold worthy, I'm definitely going to not miss them. So does the Seeker come back? That's the question. I may as well kind of explore the desert right now because I need some fiber. Uh, I just want to see how long it takes. May maybe we get a few minutes of peace away from the Seeker after we kill him. And it looks like we do because he's definitely not coming around yet. All right, let's also compare the difference between cooked and non-cooked. Just because I haven't done that yet. So there's cooked. Wow, that was over half the bar. And here goes non-cooked. Yeah, you can see the difference. It adds about probably 30%, I would say. So it's definitely worth it to cook your food if you do have the wood to do so. Yeah, the Seeker, I don't, maybe we totally killed the Seeker because he's not coming back or maybe we've killed him until we respawn uh, back down on the ground because yeah, I've I've killed a lot of plants right now. Yeah, we got a lot of fiber uh, just because I needed to make bandages. But yeah, let's get out of here and uh, there we go, we did it. We killed the freaking Seeker and unearthed what the secret was of this place too, which was really intriguing to me. Okay, so how do we decorate, find a spot on the wall and to place the decoration, right click to exit build mode. So yeah, we guess we can just, oh, that is so cool. So we gotta, we obviously gotta place the heads down here. Now let's put them on the bottom to warn them when they come in here to not screw with me. Actually, can I put them on the outside? Looks like it's red. Uh, yeah, it's not actually working. How do I flip it around? Seems to only wanna be placed one way. Why did it work over, what? I'm so confused. Why is it only working partially? Looked like it worked there for a second. Yeah, I can put it here but not over here. Okay. Being that I can only place it one way, it feels like, what? Why can't I place it here now? It was letting me before. Let's try that again. All right, zero. So now I, it does go that way. So yeah, I, th I think I just have to hold it where I want it to go and not drag it around because then it gets confused. There we go. I can sleep under the uh, seeker's head. I hope he's not still alive. All right, guys, but on that, oh, actually, the bird came. I was going to wait. I was going to try and kill the bird, and then he, he never showed up. It looks like this time he actually did. Come here, bird. 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 Oh, I missed him. 
I totally missed him. I can't... Oh, why is my gun not opening? There we go. So, yeah, I guess we'll have to wait for that one. Now, obviously, this is kind of the max at where the game is currently, so I don't know if we'll have any other episodes coming out soon, unless you guys really want to see me build like crazy in this. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions. But, yeah, I'll be keeping an eye out for updates for this game as it is being rapidly updated, and uh, when new interesting stuff comes out, I'm sure we'll come back to it. And until then, I hope you guys enjoyed Desert Skies. It was fun surviving with you. And I'll see you guys in the next one.